Emily. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted, but today I'm here with an announcement video. So as you may know, I've been helping to host March Mystery Madness for the last few years, and this year, um, in April, we were having like a wrap-up meeting, and we were talking about how we had had so much fun, and so we decided we were going to start having another event in September. September, of course, is halfway between March and March, and this new event is called Mid-Year Mystery Madness. Not every March Mystery Madness host was able to host this one, but there's a few of us doing it, and we're just really, really excited. So we're keeping Mid-Year Mystery Madness pretty simple. It's one week, September 12th to the 18th, and our theme is Subgenre September. So all we're asking is that you read one mystery that is from a subgenre that you've never read before or that you haven't read in a long time or that you've read very, very little from. So basically, just try a new kind of mystery. If you're usually a cozy fan, try something hard-boiled. If you're usually somebody that reads amateur detective novels, then try something with a police officer. Just uh, if you're somebody that reads contemporary mysteries, try a historical mystery. Just step out of your comfort zone. So just read one mystery during September 12th to 18th, and you are participating in Mid-Year Mystery Madness. If you want to get more involved, we still have our Twitter, Goodreads, and Discord groups where you can share what you're reading and talk to other mystery lovers. Our Discord group in particular was very active during March, and we'd love to build a community that's active, you know, in all times of the year. We also started an Instagram account in April when we decided to do this event, and that is March Mystery Madness underscore all year. And all of these platforms will be linked down below. We are also planning to host two live shows that week. The first one's going to be Sunday, September 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 3 p.m. if you're in the Central Time Zone like me. And that's going to be on Elizabeth's channel, Lizzie Bay Loves Books. The details for the second live show are still being worked out, but it'll be at the end of the week, either on Saturday, September 18th or Sunday, September 19th. Stay tuned for more information on that. If you're a hashtag user, the one for this event is hashtag MM Subgenre September, and September is um, abbreviated. So we picked Subgenre September because of the alliteration, but I know I wasn't familiar with all of the different mystery subgenres. I knew like the basics, like cozy and hard-boiled and closed circle, but not much else. I'm not a person that picks up a mystery solely because it fits a certain genre. I have to like the sound of the plot before I'll uh, pick it up. I haven't decided what I will read for a subgenre in September, but a few genres I'm thinking about include um, medical mysteries. Janelle mentioned that in her announcement video, and I don't think I've ever read a medical mystery, or if I have, it's been a long, long time ago. I was also thinking about reading a Stephen King mystery, as the only books I've read by him are 11, 23, 63, and on writing, but I don't know if reading a book by just because it's by a particular author is quite in the spirit of the um, prompt. But I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. I also was thinking about possibly reading Resurrection Bay by Emma Viskett because I know that the uh, person that's solving the mystery in that book is deaf, and I don't think I've ever read a mystery where the sub, the um, person solving the mystery is uh, has a disability, but uh, again, I don't really know if that is considered a subgenre. And then finally, I was possibly thinking about reading a graphic novel mystery because, again, I've never read a graphic novel mystery that I can think of. 
I was trying to find some kind of comprehensive list of mystery subgenres, but honestly, most of the lists on the internet just repeat the same common subgenres over and over again, so I didn't find it particularly useful. There are reference guides to mystery subgenres out there, but unfortunately, my library doesn't have one, and I didn't think of it quick enough to get one through Interlibrary Loan. If you're interested in getting really detailed with the subgenre sub you pick, you can see if your library has a book like Reference and Research Guide to Mystery and Detective Fiction by Richard Bleibler or The Reader's Advisory Guide to Mystery by John Charles. Honestly though, I'd just say pick a subgenre that you've been interested in and read a book from there. So, a quick recap. Read at least one mystery from a subgenre you've been wanting to check out between September 12th and 18th. Use the hashtag uh, MMM Subgenre September and join us for one of the live shows. All of the relevant links will be below. The March Mystery Madness crew is super excited and we hope you'll join us. Bye!